So what's up guys? This is a video series that I was talking about making called the um how I got into blank. So while I am in the process of working on a Phantom Menace video because I'm going to review all the Star Wars movies, I'm going to watch one every Saturday and then review it for you guys starting with episode one and then ending on the last Jedi, because that is the last movie chronologically. I could do it in order, but I really don't want to. So, like in order of release, I mean, but I'm going to do it in chronological order. So we'll go from the prequels to Solo to Rogue One. And, uh, hold on, let me grab one more figure, because I'm literally putting all my Star Wars figures right here, and it's not gonna fall any minute now so let's talk about how i got into star wars my dad is a star wars fan um and uh i don't remember exactly what age i was he showed me star wars uh he showed me the original trilogy and i got really into star wars and and like is there more star wars and he goes yeah there is there's episodes one two three and i'm like wait what so they made, I remember thinking as a little kid, wait, they made the Star Wars movies backwards? That makes no sense. And it was just me not knowing what a prequel is. Um, but that was kind of funny. And so, you know, I got in to the prequels. And I'm not, I wasn't allowed to watch PG-13 m m movies at my age back then. Uh, my parents were a little strict about certain stupid things. But, you know, there was nothing in Revenge of the Sith. Come on. I wasn't allowed to watch it. I was, I was allowed to watch every single Star Wars movie except Revenge of the Sith. And so, I watched, um, I watched every Star Wars movie. My, and I started collecting little figures. I don't have any more of those figures. They're like really kitty ones. They're like ones that are made for really little kids. And so, I was, you know, I liked it. Uh, I got this jar, and I loved the Phantom Menace. I loved Jar Jar Binks. I loved everything about it. And I had Jar Jar Binks. I had a Jar Jar Binks figure. That was probably my favorite figure. I own a freaking love Jar Jar Binks. Don't anymore. But I have nostalgia for that time. I did like that character a lot. And so, yeah, I was quite big into Star Wars. I just liked everything Star Wars. Oh my gosh, it was Star Wars. Of course, I, I don't even think I ever really watched Attack of the Clones. I don't have any memories of that. I know I watched all the other ones. I didn't ever watch... Um, I didn't ever watch um, the Clone Wars show. It was actually running at the time, but there were shows running at that time that I feel like I was just too... a little too uh, young for. Like, Clone Wars was running. That's kind of a show you have to have patience to watch, if you ask me. Um, so I watched... Uh, I didn't watch Dragon Ball Z, which was also running at the time, on Nicktoons Network. Does anyone remember Nicktoons Network? It's still around, I know, but it was it was it aired Dragon Ball Z at one point, not anymore, but they did, and uh, that was kind of cool. So I got into that. Um, I loved the Ewoks. I loved them. Uh, I watched, um, you know, certain things like that, and so I watched all that stuff. I got really into Star Wars, and I was just a huge Star Wars fan. Then. When Star Wars, uh, well, let's, where do I want to go from here? I want to talk about, I'm kind of, go, we'll go over my experience with every Star Wars movie and where I became a little more jaded. I don't even know where I really became more jaded. I just think it was the, I think I just got sick and tired of Star Wars, but I did watch Return of the Jedi as a kid. And, uh, when I watched Return of the Jedi, I was like, well, that's it. There will never be another Star Wars movie. Because this is the perfect ending. And I, little did I know, obviously, there was prequels. But I didn't I didn't get the reason they were made backwards. I didn't understand any of that. Um, but I literally thought that was the perfect ending. And they couldn't do anything better. And Force Awakens released its first trailer. When I'm like, well, that sucks. There's no footage of the movie. I was very upset. And when I heard Disney bought Star Wars, I was actually one of the few people unhappy. I know a lot of people are unhappy now, but they weren't unhappy when it happened. 
Because we had not gotten Star Wars content for years at this point. Because Lucas just didn't want to make anything. Uh, he was making some TV shows, some other things, but like he had a project called Star Wars Detail Tours. Let's look it up. It's kind of interesting, but point was there was no Star Wars content coming out at that time. I knew that Disney buying Star Wars meant non-stop Star Wars movies, Star Wars books, Star Wars figures, Star Wars whatever. Now, you would think, well, I love Star Wars. Yeah, but I don't want Star Wars to go on forever. When I talk about why why I didn't like the sequel trilogy, which is actually going to be a video I'm going to make after I'm done reviewing all the Star Wars movies, and I'm going to probably release it the day before I go see Episode Nine, uh, maybe before that, but... Point is, I was very, very, very disappointed in the sequel trilogy. And I saw Force Awakens, and I'm like, is this what Star Wars is going to be? A rehash of all the older movies that I already love? I was like, no. 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 Um, But, you know, I... I've softened on Force Awakens. I've become a bigger fan of the movie. Now I even own the movie um, right here. This collector's edition 3D Blu-ray, which is cool and all. Um, but, you know, I have that now. Um, but then um, Ewoks. My My parents have nostalgia for Star Wars, of course. So they told me, hey. My dad introduced me to Star Wars Christmas Special. He's like, did you know there was a Star Wars Christmas Special? He didn't show it to me. He just said it's, yeah, it's like really bad. So I was like, what is this? I looked it up, watched some of the clips on YouTube. Really awful. Like I said, I would watch anything Star Wars. Of course, that after Return of the Jedi, I think I grew a little bit more jaded because perfect ending. I mean, I don't even like Return of the Jedi, but that's a perfect ending to everything. There's no reason to watch any Star Wars movie after that, unless you're a really hardcore fan like me. And so, I, I got, you know, I got uh, disappointed in Star Wars. So I was hoping the next movie is better. So I started watching the trailers for Rogue One, and I really enjoyed those early trailers. Then I heard Disney reshot most of the movie. What I didn't think is that most of the stuff that was shown in the trailer wouldn't be in the movie. And when I saw the movie, it was really boring. I was bored. I didn't have much interest in seeing it that day. I just saw it because it's Star Wars, whatever. I'll just go see it. It was all right. It was whatever. I just did not care for the darn movie. There was nothing in it, in it that interests me. And, uh, you know, I saw the Ewok movies because my mom... Uh, had nostalgia for it. She said, there, oh, there was Ewok movies when I was a kid and I watched them on YouTube. Uh, I think they were on free for you, uh, on free for YouTube and I enjoyed those. But I just, I grew out of Star Wars. And there was this film club at my school who was like, hey, we're going to go see The Last Jedi. You want to come with us? And I'm like, sure. So I was like, let's go see The Last Jedi. Because I was going to go see it in, anyways. Everybody was going to go see it. I think I was... Actually, I don't even think I was reviewing every movie I saw at that time. So I went to go see Star Wars The Last Jedi. Didn't think I was going to like the movie, but whatever. I'll just go see it. I saw it opening night. Came out loving the movie. And I think I was just excited because it changed Star Wars, the formula. Now I've grown and watched it more. And I've been like, no. This movie sucks. Because it really does. It really is bad. Uh, I'll make a, you know, I'm going to review it. But I just, it made me sick of Star Wars. Even more than I was of when after Force Awakens. And you got to remember, when Force Awakens was coming out, figures, there was Star Wars slapped everywhere. There was Star Wars everywhere you went. And because everybody was excited for that new Star Wars movie coming out in December. Because Star Wars had been gone for years, and I understand people were, but you like people were really, really excited for that new Star Wars movie. It's like, oh my gosh, Star Wars! Did you hear that there's a new Star Wars movie coming out? I'm like, yeah, I know. And um, uh, you know, next after that, Solo was coming out, 
And I started watching the trailers, and I was like, Solo, why do we need this? This is really stupid. I have the opinion most people did, which was just like, why does this exist? I didn't care that Han Solo died. I just knew that her, this actor couldn't catch her, capture Harrison Ford. That's why... Also, there was just no reason to make a Solo prequel. I don't care about his past. Here's the thing. Solo, Han Solo, is not interesting before he's the character that you like. He's just not. So it was just kind of dumb that they made that movie. Made it anyways, and I did not want to go see it. I said for weeks, I'm not going to go see it. I'm not going to go see it. And then I saw it. Because I think I was given a gift card. I, yeah, like I was given a gift card, and I'm like, oh, all right, well, I didn't want to go pay to see Solo since I have a gift card because it was I think it was my birthday. I was like, oh, yeah, all right, let me go see Solo. So I went to go see Solo. Wasn't that bad. It wasn't good. It was okay, but it was just... But the thing was, exactly what I expected to be. It bored me. And I, I haven't been able to rewatch the movie since. I've watched bits and pieces of it. And I've just not got into it. Same thing with Rogue One, honestly. And I've kind of grown more cynical of Star Wars. And if you ask me, that's just because Star Wars itself has grown more cynical. Because they've made characters. Well, they've had to. But the characters are all older now. They're all grumpier. They die and stuff like that. They're not happy characters. I think that's why I really latch on to Chewbacca nowadays is because he's still happy Chewbacca. The rest of the characters are all angry, depressed, and upset. And this is just not what I wanted to see from Star Wars. And I just, I still love the original movies. I just haven't rewatched them that often. I've grown more cynical because Star Wars itself has grown more cynical. And Disney's going to run it into the ground. Now, I'm not saying I'm not excited for all this. Uh, I did get into Clone Wars at some point. I don't remember exactly how or why. I just got into it. I did see the Clone Wars movie in theaters, which, by the way, not many people did. And I just was like, I, I there was a point where I just like, I'd say, see every movie as a little kid go, I liked it. And I saw that movie and liked it, even though I never, don't have any members of it, did never watch it again, didn't ever care for it, really. Um, but... You know, so yeah, I really, really um, love Star Wars, as you can tell by all this here. And yeah, Thanos is in here because he's waiting to come back and be put back in his place. But uh, yeah, I really love Star Wars, and that's not ever something that's going to change. I think it's just something that's just happened where I've just grown more cynical of Star Wars because itself, the franchise itself has grown more cynical characters have grown older they're a lot more depressed and grumpy and it's just not something i want to see from star wars personally and i'm just very very tired of star wars and i think the french i think every franchise has a dying point and eventually needs to be got like it's like you run over a dog sorry to be a little morbid but you run over a dog and you're like oh it's dying and you're like <laughs> You, you want to put it out of its misery, so you go get a gun, you poof, bam, it's out. And that's what I think someone needs to come do to Star Wars. Uh, maybe they can make it more fun. I think the only way to fix Star Wars is to never focus on the original trilogy characters ever again. They're all old now. The ones you like are dead in real life and not in real life. Um... And there are also just and also all those stories that you could possibly tell. Honestly, either don't need to be told or have already been told. So, yeah, that's my thoughts, and that's my experience with Star Wars.